Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Typewriter Video Series, episode 126. Today is a continuation of the same subject matter that we had in last week's Typewriter Video Series episode, which was about how do you use a 12 character per inch typewriter and try to make the imprint appear large enough on your blog if your blog template is fairly narrow. And what I had presented to you was this idea of taking for the US size paper, eight and a half by 11 inch paper, if you were to fold it this way, you end up with a four and a quarter inch wide piece of paper and with a 12 character per inch machine that is theoretically 51 characters that you can put on a line. And I've been doing this for several weeks now on my blog and I kind of like the way it looks. It makes these normally rather small letters appear a little bit bigger. And if you're not just typecast blogging, but if you're putting them online, maybe you have a social media account that you like to put them on, or maybe you're simply emailing your uh, typewritten sheets to people. This is a good way to make those 12 character per inch typewritten pieces show up a little bit better. The characters look a little larger. So that was what I talked about last week. So my friend Kevin was thinking this week about last week's uh, video and of course he put his massive brain to work on the problem and he came up with a really cool idea that's an extension of what we had already seen before. If you look then at a standard line length for eight and a half inch wide paper using a pica size 10 character per inch machine you'll have a typical page like this you'll have typical like inch wide margins that's how wide a typical pica size line appears on a full width sheet of paper the problem though is that even for pica size font this is oftentimes too long of a line the characters are too small to put this wide of a line in a typecast blog if you want it to be readable on the small screen of a mobile device and so Kevin's idea was just like we took a piece of paper, folded it this way for a 12 character per inch machine, what his suggestion is to take your paper and fold it this way and then tilt it that way for a 10 character per inch machine and that'll give you a, a page width of five and a half inches and at 10 characters per inch this is a 55 character wide line. It really does present a more readable uh, solution, I think, for 10 character per inch machines. It makes it convenient to be able to fold the paper in half this way, and you can, in theory, have two sheets because you have the top sheet with its backing sheet, right? And then if you were to flip it around and type on the other side, then the back side of the other one is now the backing sheet for typing onto. So you have this same advantage of having a backing sheet of paper as you're typing. I also thought about this issue of uh, margins. Of course, you're going to want to use margins. And how does that work? Well, um, if you do the math and if you start off with, for your 12 character per inch, typewriter typing onto four and a quarter inch wide paper folded this way. If you use a quarter inch margin on each side, that's a half inch total margin, then the half inch from the four and a quarter is three and three quarters, and that ends up being 45 characters wide at 12 characters per inch. And oddly enough, if you give yourself a half inch margin on this paper with a 10 character per inch machine, you also get 45 characters. Isn't that cool? So half inch margins, quarter inch margins, 10 character per inch, 12 character per inch machine. And you get the same number of characters per line with either one. So this is kind of the great equalizer for these typewriters. If you are more satisfied with typing on uh, pica size 10 character per inch machines, you like the bigger size letters, and you want to find a convenient way to put those on your blog so that they're easily readable on a mobile device with a small screen, fold your paper this way and give yourself half inch margins. You'll have 45 characters per line. On the other hand, if you have a 12 character per inch machine and maybe you haven't been using that machine as much because the, the characters are rather small, fold your paper this way instead, give yourself quarter inch margins and you'll also have 45 characters per line. Well, that's a real simple 
typewriter video series episode for today. Hope this is helpful to you guys. Hope this encourages you to use whatever machines you have, whether it's 10 or 12 character per inch, or one of those uh, more unusual sizes. There's some 11s out there. There's even six character per inch machines that are the rather rare. Joe Van Cleve coming to you from Albuquerque, New Mexico, and you guys have yourselves a great day.